Um, today's going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I did just film doing my eyes, so it is just an eye tutorial. Obviously, I feel like I always do my skin, so you kind of know how I do my skin now, because I basically do the same thing all the time. Um, although I did use a different foundation, like a few different products, but it's basically the same thing. But if you do want a tutorial on how I did the skin, then let me know in the comments below. But it is just a tutorial to talk to 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 cannot talk it is just a tutorial on the eye makeup and i use the jaclyn hill volume 2 palette that she brought out with morphe so just nice to see that you can get a nice neutral look using the palette as well it's not just all bright colors in there you can achieve a nice neutral glam as well but i'm going to shut up blabbing now and get on with the tutorial um if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure you leave any suggestions of tutorials you want to see or videos you want to see in the future in the comment section down below um and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already because that would mean so much to me but anyways i'll stop loving and get on with the tutorial bye guys okay, so i'm just going to start off with um a base on my eyes and today i'm going to be using the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate concealer so i'm just going to pop some of that on the back of my hand first so i'm just going to use the peaches and cream pc 52 brush which looks like this it's just a flat um brush basically i'm just going to pick some of that concealer up and i'm going to go right underneath the um brow with it first just to sort of carve that out it suddenly just like started hammering it down literally just as i've started to film so if you can hear that in the background i'm sorry but i cannot go over how bad that rain is right now So I'm now just taking that all over the eye as well. I'm just taking that down onto the lid because we're going to be using that as our base. So today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette that she brought out with Morphe. And I'm going to go in with this colour right here, which is called G Money. And I'm going to take that on this brush from Makeup Geek. They don't have numbers, it just says Define Crease Brush. It literally just looks like that. And I'm just going to start blending that right into the crease. You zoomed in enough. Let's just zoom... So yeah, I'm just blending that right into the crease, basically. Just back and forth in windshield wiper motions, just building it up until you've got like the depth that you want. Taking it onto the outer corner as well. These eyeshadows are so pigmented by the way, this is like ridiculously pigmented. Such a nice colour as well. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this colour right here, which is called Perfectionist. And I'm just going to use this, what brush is this? It's a Sigma E25 brush just to blend that out. And I'm literally just applying it <clears throat> just above what we've just done, just so I can blend out all of the edges obviously we do not want any harsh lines so basically just doing the same, same thing that I did last time same motion I'm just going to take it a little bit higher I'm just going to go in with the first brush we used and that first shade which was called G Money and I'm just going to go back in now and just deepen up the crease a little bit more. And then now I'm just going to take a little bit more of the same concealer that we used first. Um, I don't need too much this time. And I'm just going to use the same brush as well that we used for the concealer, which was the peaches and cream one, just a flat brush, any will do. And I'm going to cut the crease out a little bit. I 
I basically let the tip of the brush do the work for me because obviously it's quite rounded so I literally just pat this on. Just back in with um, the smaller crease brush and G Money just to sort of blend that onto the outer corner a little bit on the lower lash line as well. Back in with the Sigma brush, the bigger blending brush, no extra product on this and I'm just going to blend that on the outer corner as well. Okay so now I'm going to take this colour right here which is called Ride or Diamonds and this is one of the um, pressed glitters in the palette. So I'm just going to use this Zoeva brush, it's a 234, it's just a flat shader brush like this. I'm just going to pick that up on the brush and then I'm going to spray it with some setting spray as well, literally any will do. I'm just using the Glam Glow Glow Setter. And then I'm also just going to pick a little bit more up after I've sprayed the brush as well. And then I'm literally just going to press this right onto the lid where we've put the concealer. I'm not sure how it's applying with the brush. I'm not sure about it. I feel like it's taken a while to build up so I'm literally just going to use my finger instead. I feel like this is going on so much better with using your finger instead of a brush by the way. And then I'm going to do the exact same with this colour right here which is the colour Get Ready With Me. Just basically the same thing, just because I want that a little bit deeper, sort of more on the outer corner. Not necessarily on the outer corner but like the outer portion of the lid should I say. I feel like adding different like glitter and shimmer shades to the lid just gives more dimension in it. It just looks really nice like it when it captures the light. I feel like it just, I don't know, it just gives it a little bit more something something if you get what I'm saying. So back in with G Money now just to sort of blend that at the edges. I'm not even in shot am I like wow Ellen that's so bad. So next I'm just going to use this brush from Zoeva which is a 226, looks like this, it's just like a little detail brush and um, the other one that I normally use has still got like pink on it so I'm using this one instead and I'm going to go in with G Money to start off with and I'm going to smudge this along the lash line, just like this. And then I'm just going to go over that now with Temptress, which is this colour right here. It's the black in the palette. Same brush. Just pick a little bit of that up and just go over the top of that, just to darken it up a little bit. And I'm going to go back. In. That was like, I don't even know what happened then. So I'm just going to go back in with the definer brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of the black and then G Money. And I'm just going to blend that on the outer corner. Not too much black by the way guys, because you don't want black everywhere. It's literally just to darken up the outer corner slightly. So I'm going to do my lower lash line now. I'm going to use the same concealer as a base. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that underneath my eye. Not too much though, I don't want to put too much under there. I'm just going to use this brush from Spectrum just to blend that out. Just acts as like a base underneath the eye just for the eye to stick to. Obviously, we used a base on the top, so why wouldn't you use the one on the bottom as well? Strange because I don't always saying that I don't always use one on the bottom. Like if I'm wearing eyeliner in the waterline, I'll just kind of go with that. I'm not going to put any any eyeliner on today though. But like if I'm wearing eyeliner in my waterline, I just kind of use that as a base for it to stick to. But obviously, if I'm not going to be doing that. I need to use something else instead. So I'm going to take that same small detail brush that we used on the lash line with a little bit of the black and the brown, so that's Temptress and G Money, and I'm going to blend that right on the lower lash line. Just 
taking that small crease definer brush, like crease, like whatever you want to call it, crease blending brush, crease definer blush, br blush brush, with a little bit of G Money, and I'm just gonna blend that out on the lower lash line so we've not got such a harsh line. Um, back in with the Sigma E25 and the shade Perfectionist. Um, I'm just gonna put some of that underneath as well. Basically the shades we used on the top, I'm using on the bottom, except obviously not the shimmering ones. I'm just gonna do my brows now. So I'm just going to start off by brushing them. This is just a spoolie, it's so just a brush from Real Techniques. You don't need to go out and buy a natural brush. You could just use like a disposable mascara one, like it really does not matter. Just literally just something to brush the brows into place basically. And then I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. This is in the shade Auburn. Um, I broke the spoolie on this, which is why I use the separate brush if you want to. I just, I always start, I don't like to start right at the front. I tend to start like just a little bit before the arch. And I just like to start by lining underneath first. Very softly though, you don't want like too much of a harsh line. So yeah, once you've got the tail of the brow, I then just start to fill that in. I just like to draw like little lines in the brows. Um, that sounds really weird. I like to draw little lines in my brows just so it looks a little bit more natural, like more like actual hair, if that makes sense. And then same at the front of the brow as well. And if you are doing it in like little lines as well, so it looks hair-like, make sure you're following the natural direction of the brow hairs like the direction that they naturally grow so obviously at the front you want to be going upwards and then you get me you get me so i'm just going to use the spoolie again just to sort of brush through and blend that out a little bit i feel like that helps see if there's any areas as well that you still need to fill in or anything like that. and then just to finish the brows off i'm going to go in with max fall slash maximizer which, yeah, is a primer for your lashes, but I use it in my brows instead. Don't judge me. I'm just gonna brush that through. That's literally basically how I do my brows. Like, I feel like that was, the eye and the brow was just really quick and easy. So I'm just gonna go and do the other eye, pop some falsies on, etc., etc., and I'll come back to show you the finished look. I'll see you in a minute. But this is the finished look, guys. I just put on some lashes. I used the Style Escape from Primer Lash. Um, really, really nice, to be fair. I really like these lashes, really nice and fluffy. Um, obviously, I've done my skin as well off of camera. I just thought, how many times can you see me do my skin? Like, I feel like I just pretty much do the same thing most of the time. Like, I, I like to do it every so often on camera, but sometimes I'm like, probably getting bored. Let's just be here for the eye makeup. So basically, this is the finished look. Obviously, it looks a lot better now that I have got the lashes and the foundation on. I feel like when you've got eye makeup on and nothing on your skin, it looks so weird, but you've just got to trust the process because in the end, it does look so much nicer but yeah this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the, in the in the description let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos like this where i just do it basically just on the eye makeup um also i feel like i never do my brows on camera as well so showed you how i did my brows as well but let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this video let me know if you like the look um obviously good to know that you can do a really nice neutral look using the jacqueline hill volume 2 palette so when you first look at the palette it looks a little bit intimidating because it's just bright colors but clearly you can do a very natural look as well. i say natural neutral colors but glam look obviously that's what i meant um but please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well. It would mean the world to me. I'm going to love you and leave you guys because I've got stuff to do. So bye guys.